Hello, my name is Bob Kaberski from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to configure bridge conferencing on the Avaya 1X Communicator client. The bridge conferencing feature is supported with Avaya 1X Communicator Release 6.1, Service Pack 2, and above. And it must also be integrated with Avaya 1X Client Enablement Services. Once the Client Enablement Services integration configuration has been completed, Log into the client and select the gear icon on the top right side of the user interface. Then select Settings and General Settings. The General Settings window will open and you will need to select Conference under the Accounts category. Then the Conference window will open and a list of Conference attributes will be displayed. There are some fields on this screen that are pre-populated with attributes from Avaya Meeting Exchange. The first field is the address for the conference server. The next field is the name of the conference the moderator can choose to display to the conference participants. Next, enter the primary number of the conference bridge. Then if applicable, there is also an option to enter a secondary number for the bridge. Now enter your moderator code used when hosting a conference. If it is used, don't forget to enter the pound sign at the end of the string. Next, enter the participant code used for your bridge. Again, don't forget the pound sign at the end of the string. Finally, there is an option for a PIN number entry. Once this has been completed, select OK for the changes to take effect. To use this feature, return to the user interface and select the Show Bridge Conference icon. The Bridge Conference window will open and you will see the conference information you've configured. There are also buttons on this screen to dial the conference bridge and send the codes. And if necessary, these entries can be changed to enter a different conference. To test this feature, select the dial button for your conference bridge. And once it answers, send your host code. The conference window will change to the active conference. And in this example, I've also dialed into the bridge with another phone using the participant code to show the conference controls. As the moderator, you have the options to put the conference in lecture mode, put it on hold, lock the conference, as well as end it. On the left side of the list of participants, you will see an active talker icon displayed when someone is talking. On the right side of the list, there is a microphone icon to mute individual participants if necessary. Finally, selecting the gear icon gives you mute, hold, and drop controls for each participant. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information is useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.